Now, there are two standout pieces of data today which, to my mind, relate to the cost of living crisis and the economic predicament we're in. The first is that workers here in Britain have seen their real pay fall at the fastest pace in over a decade as rampant inflation eats into people's spending power. But meanwhile, global stock markets have been taking some tumbles. The main US share index fell almost 4% yesterday amid fears that rising consumer prices will prove harder to control than expected and could even cause a deeper economic downturn. Joining me now in the studio is Paul Sedgwick, who's the founder and director of investment management company Frank Investments. Good to see you again Thanks, Good to see here, you. Paul. And Sim Hall returns, the managing director of Populous Recruitment, which recruits professionals for the technology and energy sector to proper economic players here among us. Paul, tell me your thoughts on these stock market lurches. We've seen, I mean, the US stock market is now in what we call bear market Correct. territory. It doesn't mean, you know, there's pots of honey and Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> it means that the market is down 20%, a fifth, from its previous peak. Correct. Where's it heading? Well, that's the good question. Now, I think that certainly sentiment, you summed it up pretty well at your introduction of what, what, in, what investors and savers are worried about, that, that we're going to turn into a, a, an economic recession, which is going to obviously make it harder for companies to make profits, which obviously brings down the valuation of stock markets. Where it's heading, we've had a 20% correction. In theory, um, a lot of this correction has been driven by the fact that higher bond yields make equities less attractive, basically. Yeah. So a lot of the correction we've seen has been in response to interest, uh, longer-term interest rates rising quite right. sharply. We've got... People can make money in bonds, they take it money out of more risky equities. Because they look less attractive. So yeah. you, in, you demand, because equities are considered higher risk, you want a higher return from them. If you get a better return from bonds, you've got to want a better return from equities so the valuations go down. It's basically what it boils down to. So a lot of the correction that we've seen so far has been related to that. The general view has been that the US economy will avoid an economic recession. The Fed will be able to bring back inflation without actually engineering an economic recession. Last week's inflation data, which showed the uh, US economy's overall inflation rate rising higher than expected mm. suddenly raised interest rates expectations even yeah. further and whereas the fed were anticipating rising interest rates at 50 basis points ago that's half a percent half apologies yeah, half yeah. a percent tomorrow night there's now strong speculation that they will actually raise them by 75 basis points three quarters of a percent Correct. and indeed the bank of england follows on thursday Let's just get a... Uh, we're a bit short of time, Paul, I'm afraid. Let's just hear from Sim Hall, the Managing Director of Populous Recruitment. Sim, I wanted to combine these jittery stock markets with the fact that real wages are falling, as we've been hearing. So inflation is eating into corporate costs, eating into profit margins at a time when firms are worried consumers will have less spending power. It's a pretty heady brew. It is a pretty heavy brew, and certainly what we're seeing uh, in our region and, and also working with employers around the world, we're seeing that caution in increasing uh, base wages, but in engaging in more attractive, more comprehensive overall employee incentive programs. So we're working with companies on that to try and uh, leverage that against their EBITDA, make sure they're making money, but then give that back against uh, other incentives and other areas that but there's a wider benefits program there. And the figures from the ONS that you're using there actually showed that and demonstrated that, that when you take into account the bonuses, it is actually um, just tracking above inflation. So, and a lot of that is down to the financial sector, appreciate that, but we're seeing that um, from, from our point of view as well. Sim, I'm afraid we've got to leave it there. A bit squeezed for time today, but great to have you with us. Sim Hall, Managing Director of Populous Recruitment, and, of course, Paul Sedgwick, a Director and Founder of Frank Investments. Great to have you with us. Sorry we couldn't talk more on this occasion, but we will. And if you're wondering what EBITDA is, which Sim just mentioned, it's earnings before interest, tax, dividends and amortisation. Don't say I never tell you anything here on GB News.